Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about preparedness for different locations and contextualize local disaster plans. This will be the fourth quarter topic and learning competency number 8. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to describe the communication channels through which authorities disseminate tsunami warnings. The second one is to demonstrate the ability to follow evacuation procedures in response to a tsunami warning. And the third one is to appreciate the importance of preparedness for tsunamis by answering the reflection of learning. In activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the learners will determine if the photo shows a hazard of earthquake or not. The following is to understand your local rest. So the first one is the earthquake zone. So identify your location seismic activity and potential for earthquake damage. The second one is the tsunami zone. So understand the tsunami rest based on proximity to ocean and potential for flooding. The following is to create a family emergency plan. So the first one is to have a meeting point. So designate a safe and accessible meeting place for family members. The second one is communication plan. So determine how to contact each other if phones lines are down. And the last one is the emergency contacts. Keep a list of essential emergency numbers easily accessible. The following is to build an emergency kit. So the first one is water. So store enough water for at least three days, ensuring access for everyone in your household. The second one is food. So include non-perishable food items that require no cooking, such as canned goods and energy bars. And the third one is the first aid kit. So assemble a comprehensive first aid kit with necessary medication and supplies for common injuries and the fourth one is other essentials this includes a flashlight batteries a whistle a radio extra clothing cash and important documents the following is to secure your home and office. So the first thing to do is to secure objects. So anchor heavy furnitures and objects to walls to prevent movement and damage during an earthquake. The second one is to strengthen your walls. So consider installing earthquake resistant bra bracing to strengthen walls and to prevent from collapse. And the third one is to secure power. So disconnect electrical appliances and and secure power cords to prevent shocks and fires during an earthquake. 
The following is to know your evacuation route. So the first one is the primary route. So identify the safest and the fastest evacuation route away from potential tsunami hazards. The second one is the secondary route. So develop an alternate route in case the primary route is blocked or inaccessible and the third one is the meeting point establish a safe meeting point for family members away from potential hazards the following is to practice your plan regularly so the first one is drill so conduct regular earthquake and tsunami drills to practice emergency procedures and familiarize everyone with the plan the second one is communication. So utilize drills to test communication methods and ensure everyone understands the plan. And the third one is feedback. So review and update the plan based on the results of drills and feedback from family members. The following is to collaborate with your community. So the first one is community collaboration. So engage with neighbors, community leaders, and local organization to enhance preparedness. The second one is information sharing. So share information and resources to build awareness and to support within the community. And the third one is emergency response. So collaborate with local authorities and volunteer organizations to coordinate response efforts. The following are the lessons learned and the next steps. So the first one is to evaluate. So regularly review and update the plan based on lessons learned from drills and real-world events. The second one is to adapt. Stay informed about the latest emergency preparedness recommendations and adopt the plan accordingly. And the last one is to stay prepared. Maintain emergency supplies, practice drills, and collaborate with your community for ongoing preparedness. For the work example, the students will answer the activity called Disaster Readiness Plan Simulation Earthquake Response. For the lesson activity, the students will answer the activity called Tsunami Alert and Response Simulation. Music 